Right, hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is M6 IQJ. Now, previous videos, you saw me unbox this Yaesu FT70D. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to program your call sign into the radio and how to set it up for use on a fusion repeater. Now, unlike this radio, which is an RT3 or an MD380 clone, you don't need to register with your ham certificate. You don't need to enter a radio ID. You don't need to put any code plugs in there or any CSV files. In fact, Fusion is a lot easier to get into than the other digit modes, as I've found. So how do we go about entering the call sign into the radio? Now, what we're going to be using, the dial at the top there, the band button to go forwards, and the mode button to go back. And as we turn the radio, it's going to say, enter call sign, push F. So we're going to push that on. Now, using the dial at the top, we're going to rotate to the M and push band. Going to enter in six, band, and enter in I, Q, J, I've gone past it, there you go, and I'm going to stick a forward slash in there because it allows you to put a couple of letters afterwards, and we're going to enter in my jazz, my name. And we're going to push the PTT switch. So there we go, we've just entered the call sign into the radio. So how about setting up for a fusion repeater? Now the one we're going for is on a 70 centimetre band. The repeater we're going after is GB7HF, RX is 433-100, TX is 434-700, plus 1.6 offset and an 82.5 kilohertz tone. So how do we go about entering all that information? into the radio so first we need to enter in our a mode so we're going to push the mode button there and change it from fm to dn di digital and now we're going to push 433 100 as you can see it's already stuck in there gb7 hf so it's giving us the ID. There are people there transmitting, but what I'll press the volume button and turn it down so we don't even transmit them. So we want to speak on that uh, repeater. So once we've entered in the receive frequency, we're going to press function and focus six or oh, zero, sorry. And it says simp. We're going to change it to repeat the plus and push the PTT switch. And we need to put the 82.5 kilohertz tone in there. But if you push function and six, you'll see it beeps. That's because you haven't set the squelch type. So function and five, we're going to change it to tone. There we go. Push PTT and function six, we're going to change it to 82.5. And push PTT two more fives. We're going to push the function key. So now we need to uh, change the repeater shift in the actual menu. So it's men press an old function. And we're going to do number 46. Repeater frequency. We'll change that with the dial again. And we're going to do 1.6. There we go. Press the function key. And then PTT. Now we want to save that in the memory. We're going to press and hold VM. And press VM again. And it's going to say M right, so we're going to push VM again. And we're going to name it using the same 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 thing as we ended with our call sign. So GB7. So G B Seven. There we go. Seven, H, and F. There we go. And push VM once we've finished. To 
press and hold VM. And then when we push V and M again, so it goes into the mode, we can see we've got our frequency uh, repeater programmed in there. You can see there, GPSMX put it in there for us. And there's someone actually transmitting now, so let's turn the volume up. M6 IQJ, M6 IQJ, looking for a audio report. This is M6 IQJ, looking for an audio report. Here we go, Stuart. Oh, he's dropping out of the box. Right, that was a quick look at how to program the repeaters on, or a fusion repeater on this FT-70D. I hope you found this of some use and I'll catch you in the next video. 73s from M6IQJ and as always, thank you for watching. Catch you soon.